Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna go over some basic and map commands for ethical hackers that are just beginning maybe a CTF, like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, Voln Labs, Voln Hub, whatever machines that you're running. And I just wanna show you five simple commands that you can learn today that'll help you in those processes. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's get into it and have some fun. Alrighty then, folks. So I'm just gonna give you a little layout what I'm running here. I have my Kali Linux machine, and I also have an Ubuntu machine that I'm gonna be scanning. So let's go ahead and log into here real quick. And I wanna go ahead and see what my IP address is. Let me log in first. Okay, so I think my IP address is to, yep. So my IP address on this machine is 192.168. Dot two 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 dot two zero two slash twenty four. So I'm on a twenty four bit subnet. So this is this machine I'm going to target. So these work for any machine. Say for example you're running it against a hack the box machine, a try hack me machine, a metasploitable machine, whatever machine you're running this on, these commands will work. All right. So this is going to be my target in this example. So let's jump over to my Kali machine. So the first things first, let's just go ahead and run nmap. You're probably gonna see some, ignore what's on the screen right now. So what I wanna do is just like a simple ping command. So if we do sn, and then we do our IP address, right? But before we do that, say for example, if you don't know the IP subnet, what you can do is if you're on an internal network or whatever, you can do an IPA show, and you can see here, I have a lot of IPs, but let's go all the way up. And we're gonna go on ETH zero, pay attention here. So I'm at 202. So if we didn't know that machine, we can do a ping sweep of this subnet. So that's what we're gonna do. Say make believe we don't know about this Ubuntu machine. Okay, so let's do a quick nmap, dash SN, and then my subnet. So 192.168.222.0 okay? So if we do a quick scan of that subnet, we're gonna see what's up and what's not. So ignore some, it says five hosts up, but we know the only one that's up is 204. All these other ones, ignore 202 is my own self, and dot two is like a gateway. This is another machine or another gateway but the only one that's up and running is 204. So this is how you can tell, or give you some little overhead of what reported back to you, okay? So give me one second, let me go ahead and X that out. Okay, so that's the first command, and it's just a simple ping sweep. It sends a broadcast on that uh, broadcast domain of 192.168.222.0 slash 24 in this case. Okay, so that's the first command that we'll learn in nmap. This is just basic nmap commands for ethical hackers. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, we're just gonna hit the up arrow, and we're gonna go ahead and target 204 now, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a stealthy scan. So what is a stealthy scan? Stealthy scans are going to say, don't make too much noise. Obviously, we can see everything is pretty much closed. That is fine for me. If you have open ports, you go ahead and just start enumerating those open ports and so on and so forth. So we have a thousand ports closed. It's just a VM, it's not a vulnerable VM. I try to keep it patched and I wanted to see what was open and nothing is open, so we're good, okay? So that's pretty much a stealthy scan. Now let's go ahead and see if we can do some service enumeration. So say for example, there were services running on this machine. There's another cool command, which is my third command here. Let's just hit the up arrow and we can just do dash S capital V. And let's see, obviously there's nothing open. Maybe this is not the best example, but if you get some services open, you can see them here, right? So maybe what we can do, uh, let me see what I can do. Let me go ahead and maybe boot up this Windows 11 machine just for giggles. Because I know port 3389 is open on that one, I believe. We'll see. We'll boot that up and let's, we'll log into that shortly. So 
while this is booting up and this is cooking, what we can do is also, if you wanna know all the commands, we can do dash H, and this will give us a list of the commands that I'm running. So obviously this is super critical, especially if you're getting into CTFs, because the first thing you're gonna do is spawn up your machine, get an IP address, and you have to know what's going on on that, that machine, right? So get used to, you know, OS detection, we'll get into that. That is something that I have, uh, dash CSC, which is a default scripting scan. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me go over to this Windows 11 machine and let's log into this. Let me log in. Okay. And I want to see my IP address really quick. I don't know my IP and I'm just going to cheat because I don't have too much. I don't want to waste too much time. Let's do an IP config and I'm at 203. Okay. So let's do the same exact things that we just did for 204 for 203. Okay. So let's just do 203 and let's see what's cooking. Let's do a stealthy scan. Maybe some more results will come up with this Windows machine. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll give this a moment. Okay. So it says no response. So let's try to ping 203. All right. So the reason why it's not pinging is because I have a Windows firewall on. So let's go ahead and turn this firewall off. Let's come over here and just shut this off. Windows firewall and just turn this off. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to yell at me, but it's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the private one off. I just, I'm going to shut everything off just for demonstration purposes. The public doesn't really matter, but let's just turn that off too. Okay. So now we have all that stuff term, turned off. Now let's go ahead and see if we can ping this. Now we're able to ping it. So I want to go ahead and do something. And this is a little bonus. I want to go ahead and right click on start, go to system. And what I want to do is enable remote desktop. So let's go ahead and go to remote desktop here. And this is off. I want to go ahead and turn this on confirm. And this is going to allow 3389 to be open. So now if we technically, if we do what's called net stat dash a, we can see or well, in a second, 3389 is listening. Let's go to TCP. 3389 is listening now. So now we have this port open. Okay. So now let's come back over here and let's do that again and see if we get some kind of, here we go. Now we're getting some feedback, right? So now we're getting some stuff back. We have the firewall off. We have uh, 445, 3389. So now we're cooking. Okay. I just wanted to give you guys some results so you can see it in action. All right. So that's a stealthy scan, right? So now what if we don't know what version we're running on that Windows? Say, for example, you're enumerating, you're like, oh, what version of Windows? There's something called OS detection. So let's just do the up arrow because I'm lazy and just come over here and do capital O for OS detection. And this will give us the operating system, hopefully, of that Windows machine. So let's give this a moment and hopefully it will get some kind of feedback and result. All right, we get a lot of stuff. Let's come back up here. And the footprint is no exact OS D, uh, matches the host. That's fine. We know it's Windows 11, but you know, there's other ways to enumerate, but today we didn't get it, but that's fine. That's okay. That's just another command that you can have in your arsenal. And now for an example, we ha we know 3389 is open, right? So say for example, we want to do a service scan. And let's just do, let's do up arrow and we're going to do a quick service scan S V and then say, for example, I want to do dash P for port three, three, eight, nine. Okay. We can just do that and we'll get the result for that specific port because obviously we know it's open because we already scanned it. But once we are done here, it'll give us the, hopefully the service version and let's see what results we get back, 
let's give this a moment. Okay, so we got the version here, which is version SSL MS, which is Microsoft uh, WBT server. And obviously we don't get the version and it is a, it's running VMware and this is good to go, but we know it's version Windows 11. So if this was, you know, a Windows server or any kind of other device, an older version, we would get that. All right, so the last one I wanna showcase is an aggressive scan. So let's just up arrow, up arrow, and then type in capital A, okay? So this is gonna go ahead and do an aggressive scan against that IP, and it's just gonna to go to town, do whatever it needs to do, okay? So, and if you want, you can also go out to the internet and just do something like a Let's just go out to Google and for an example, nmap cheat sheet, All right? Let's just something like that. And let's see, let's see cheat sheet for beginners. Let's do something like that. Maybe we can get something a little better. And let's, let's just go with the first one here, station X. Okay. This is pretty, this is pretty interesting. So we can see here the Nmap scan techniques. We showed some of these and you can see the description. We can see the example of how to use it and port specification. So dash P like we just did on 3389. And we can do like, for example, dash P port 21 to 100. This is a port range. And you can see just so many different switches that we can utilize dash uh, SV and sorry, let's X out of here. This attempts to determine the version of the service running on that port, All right? So you can see the intensity, you can see, okay, dash A, this enables OS detection, version detection, script scanning, and trace route. So this, it does this whole shebang in one simple uh, command, okay? So you can just go and check out some of these to you know extend your knowledge on Nmap. And that's it. So let's go up and see what's cooking and on this dash A. And we'll break this down and then we'll finish up. Okay, so we can see the different ports, the state of the port, if it's open or not. We did open some ports, so we should see that. The version, Microsoft Windows RPC, a NetBIOS SSN, and so on and so forth. So you can come down and we can see it does not respond time, represent time. And you can see, okay, it gives me my, my host name. Let's see if what else, it gives me my DNS name, which it's not on a domain, so pretty much that should be cool. The product version, SSL search subject, okay. So let's keep coming down. There's no OS detection, let's keep coming down. We can see trace route right down here. It's a little slow. We can see trace route right here. OS detection performed. Please report any incorrect results to you know nmap.org submit. So that's pretty much it. So hopefully you found this informative. If you have any questions or any cool commands that you learned throughout this process, if you're tinkering it with yourself, please put it in the comments below. I'm always open to learn new tricks and tips. So thank you so much for viewing and I'll see you guys in the next one.